Hi, I'm Cynthia Nessel. I'm the owner of Create with Cynthia, a website, a blog, and a YouTube channel. I love working on projects around the home. And today, I'm working on a project with DIY paint and color mixing for this chair. The paint comes in a lot of colors, but sometimes you just don't have the color you want. And so, mixing DIY paint colors is super easy and super fun. Stay tuned and watch me take an old wood chair and make it look beautiful and make some super cute and super easy wood signs that are all about the beach and the lake. Hi there. So I wanted to show you what I did to this chair, okay? This is one of the chairs that I got when I was down in Oceanside and I was at the Jamie Ray and Debbie Beard workshop in Solana Beach. So I am part of Debbie's membership group on YouTube. You can do it as well, I'll put the link below. And she gave us this, these really cute worksheets. And it lets you put down the colors that you've used and then the color that you created. And you can also write about a color story if you wanted, what the mixing ratio is. So here's my color story. This is one part skeleton key to three parts white swan. And I'm calling it swan on key. I don't know. But it really is my favorite chair so far. I've got like seven more to do, so I might change the mind. So what I did is I took three parts of the white swan and one part of the skeleton key, and I put them in a can here, and I mixed them really good. Um, mixed it, mixed it, mixed it, because even as I'm mixing it right now at this moment, you can see the white swan on the bottom. So every time you use it, you gotta remix it. And so I'm going to use it on this board right here. I wanted to paint this board in skeleton key. And this is just a board that I picked up at Michael's. It's got a nice little frame around it. So I can actually, um, what I'll probably do is do the frame in dark and decrepit. It's like a wood stain that I really like because it's dark and it's decrepit. No. <laughs> Uh, it's a DIY product, um, but I love wood. So I know everyone always says, you always paint everything. And I kind of don't always paint everything, but these chairs right here and the other ones that I have, they're so old and the wood looks horrible on them and they needed something. So paint is what was the best idea. And um, Debbie and her cute little fun worksheet allowed me to create a color that I love. I'm kind of a blue girl, blue, turquoise, and this color here, the skeleton key and white swan color, is like a really soft uh, baby blue color. So the DIY paint is a clay-based paint, and so it's, it's thick, and I like texture, and I like spindles, and I like old and chippy, and so I'm gonna just paint in the textured motion, as you can see. And that's gonna kinda create a sense of oldness. I don't wanna forget to tell you, but I'm using my Paint Pixie brush. I sell them on my website at createwithcynthia.com. DIY paint is a lot of fun. And in the chair project, I used Skeleton Key and White Swan. But 
I've done some other projects where I've color mixed and some of those videos are on YouTube. For example, the angel artwork video you can watch on YouTube and I did a color mixing of some cowgirl, coral, and petticoat pink and a little bit of golden ticket. And um, there might be other projects, but I can't remember. And you don't need the worksheet, but if you want, I would highly recommend that you check out Debbie's membership group because it's a lot of fun and very informative. So I used the dark and decrepit to frame out the board and I decided to work with my essential stencils and create this fun, beachy song.